Hey, yo everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video, and today we're going to be doing another edition of what I am thinking. For those of you that are new to my channel or haven't seen this video series before, basically this is a video blog series that is, well, just like the title said, I talk about what I am thinking. It could be about anything in the world. However, chances are it's going to be geek related, but it can be about anything. Basically, what I do is I'll sit down and I'll blog and I'll ramble on and on about that specific topic. And then I'll ask you guys your opinion on it. So what's today's edition of what I am thinking? Well, if you saw the title, you probably already know, but it's going to be what should be DC's next big event. Now. DC has basically relaunched its title. It's kind of a reboot, and it is a whole new world, a new universe. While many things stay the same, like a lot of Batman and Green Lantern's history, and other characters in the DC universe, like Dead Man or Nightwing or so on and so forth, some things have changed drastically, and it is a new DC universe. Now, to be honest, I am actually okay with them not doing a DC event anytime soon, Big crossover events can be very draining after a long time, but because we're in a new universe, it might actually be necessary to do at least one DC event for two reasons. One is because while this is a new universe and we haven't seen too, too much interaction between the characters. I mean, we've seen some crossovers like the Justice League titles or the Teen Titan titles, but we haven't seen too much crossovers with the DC titles. Number two is, well, because it's a new universe, a lot of the big events are no longer around. There's no more crises. The Infinite Crisis, Crisis on Infinite Earth, Zero Hour Crisis in Time, and Identity Crisis are basically gone. There was a big crisis mentioned in Hawk and Dove, where the original Dove got killed, but we don't know what that crisis is, and they're probably not going to touch upon it anytime soon. Final Crisis could have possibly happened with his tie-ins to Batman, but that's still up in the air. So, it would be nice to see some kind of event where the DC superheroes have to come together. So, with that said, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to present to you guys what I think the next DC big event should be, and then see what you guys think. Now, like I said, I'm okay with them not doing a big event anytime soon. Although I would like to see some interaction between the characters, I would actually rather see it in an event that is a weekly, bi-weekly event, similar to 52 or Brightest Day or Trinity, where it's a smaller story in scale, but a lot of characters come together and show up in it. However, we're talking about a big DC event. And I would want to this DC event to happen at least on the anniversary of the relaunch. I think that would be a good timing for it. Now, as I was thinking about what this DC event should be, I thought about a few things. First of all, is it has to encompass a threat so large that several different superheroes from the DC Universe have to join together. It can't just be the Justice League fighting this threat because it would happen just in the Justice League title, a crossover title that's been happening for a while and it's not a big DC crossover title. This needs to be an event so big that it's uh, it needs all the DC superheroes, or at least a good majority of them, to jump in and help out. Two is I had to think about a villain or a threat that would fill that event, something that would be big enough something threatening enough. I know this is kind of like what I just said, but it's really actually kind of hard to think about something that would really draw in all those heroes. First thing that always came to mind when I thought about a big threat for the DC heroes would be Darkseid. However, Darkseid's being handled in Justice League right now, and if Final Crisis is still canon, Darkseid's dead. So we can't use Darkseid. I could always pull out a character like the Sparrow or Starro or maybe Dr. Light or the Injustice League. But, well, those stories have been done before. It's best to stay away from stories that involve the Lanterns, like maybe the Rise of the Black Lanterns again, or a story that's based off the White Lanterns again, because it's been done, and it's been done recently. And the story needs to encompass everyone in the DC Universe, so it should not be Trinity-focused or Justice League-focused. It should be a thing that welcomes in everyone in the DC Universe. So, what kind of threat could there be? 
Well, this is just a thing that came to my mind off the top of my head, but I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if it was Heroes vs. Heroes? Now, before you jump to conclusions, allow me to explain. No, I'm not talking about trying to rip off Civil War from Marvel or anything like that. What I'm thinking is, would it be interesting if there was one villain? Let's just pick a villain. A mad scientist or someone that has a great amount of power. Um, Dr. Tomorrow. I don't know. Just pick someone. And somehow, they found some... They, they, they conducted some kind of nanovirus that can affect people. And it can cause them to go into some kind of uh, a rage of some sort. Or it could cause them to lose control. Thus making them violent. Or it could make them be under the control of that scientist. Let's just, let's just stick to Dr. Tomorrow. So anyways... He starts this off and he infects some kind of big name. Let's just say he starts off and he attacks Green Lantern. Green Lantern gets possessed. And now Green Lantern attacks the Justice League and takes over half the Justice League. Like maybe Superman and Aquaman. Wonder Woman and Flash and Batman and Cyborg are able to escape. But because... Slowly the DC community, the superhero community, is getting taken over by this nanovirus... They need to bring in heroes that they'd never worked with before. So it could be possessed heroes versus heroes that need to save them. This allows certain heroes that aren't big names or that aren't Superman, Batman, or Wonder Woman to kind of take the helm as the people that need to save the day, while at the same time not devaluing the abilities of those big names. Now, I'm not saying that every big name would be possessed. Some people like Cyborg, Batman, or Wonder Woman would stay clean and they would help lead the charge, but this would allow you to utilize a lot of heroes that have just shown up in the universe. Uh, some heroes that may need more face time. Maybe Blue Beetle and Static can be thrown in with more face time. Maybe Red Hood and the Outlaws come in and help out. Maybe Deathstroke even gives a hand. You know, you never know what could be done with this title, but it could be a very superhero crossover event that could showcase these DC superheroes. Um, and again, it's kind of like superhero versus superhero. It'd be a fun little thing to do. The second kind of event that came to mind is, well, this is a very superhero event, why not do an event that encompasses the more mystical or darker side of the DC Universe? We have titles such as Justice League Dark, or we have titles such as Voodoo, or we have titles such as Grifter, or Deathstroke the Terminator, or Swamp Thing, or uh, Animal Man. Why not do one of two crossovers? A on-the-edge crossover of sorts, for lack of a better term, where the Blackhawks, uh, Deathstroke the Terminator, Sergeant Rock, well, maybe not Sergeant Rock, because it would be best if his title stays aside, but Grifter and maybe Voodoo are all entangled in some kind of big event that they need to deal with alone. Or maybe the Justice League Dark needs to work with Animal Man and Swamp Thing to take down... I don't know, The Rod or something. A uh, crossover event for the smaller, maybe not as popular titles, so that those titles get a little bit more notice. Hmm? So, basically, that's kind of what's been running through my head. The question I now ask you guys is, you know what I'm thinking, what are you guys thinking? What do you think the next big DC event should be? What kind of crossover should be done to kind of give there a little bit more unity in the DC universe? Because like I said, these titles, while it's great that they're on their own and doing their own thing, it would be cool to see Booster Gold crossover with Superman and crossover with uh, Grifter or crossover with Swamp Thing or whatever, just random superhero crossovers, because it would feel like this is a little bit more of a DC universe. Uh, so, like I said, what are you guys thinking? With that said, I'm going to end this video here. You can send a comment or a video response. I would love to hear it. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.